What's up guys, welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to complete Team of the Season Tavrede. Team of the Season is finally here and if you're looking to buy some FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, then look no further. U7 Buy has the cheapest coins out there, the transactions are safe and you'll receive your coins within a blink of an eye. Use code K for a 5% discount, the link is in the description. Okay, so today is actually the release of, I think it's the Saudi Arabian League um, as well, the second league um, for, well, to a company, uh, the Premier League. So in the player picks, we'll get like a few of the Saudi Arabians, um, the well, league players. Um, so here we have a player objective. Um, I knew that they were going to actually release one of them just because they normally release at least one player from each league. So, yeah, this card doesn't actually look that bad. Like, his shooting and physical look insane. His dribbling is quite low. I just have a feeling that he's not going to be, um, well, agile. He, I have a feeling he's going to be quite tall. He's not going to be that usable, in my opinion, um, just looking at his stats right now. Um, but he is an 89 rated team of the season, in which you do need it for the top five leagues, I'm pretty sure, um, for the guaranteed packs. So, it's a pretty good... Uh, card just looking at it right now and by the way I did do the team of the season Bamford uh, just because I wanted some high rated fodder just in case and I was pretty bored in FIFA so yeah uh, anyway so starting off with the first objective that you need in order to complete this team of the season player um, Saudi scoring score using Saudi pro league players in three separate squad battle matches or min professional difficulty or rivals um, as I said before uh, in all of, well, the squad battle matches or rivals um, uh, objectives, complete them in uh, squad battles just because rivals, as I said before, lots of people are playing rivals to actually get the points rather than these players. So just complete them in squad battles. It's much easy, um, well, much easier, sorry, to complete them in squad battles than uh, rivals because you are playing the AI and not some like really good players online. Um, so starting off with the first objective, it's actually not bad. Three separate matches, you have to score using Saudi Pro League players. Um, so obviously the team of the season is out right now, so they're going to be quite cheap, I think. Um, so just get some fast, or you can, yeah, just get some normal fast Saudi uh, Saudi Pro League players um, in your club. So this isn't that bad, to be honest. Uh, it's on professional difficulty, so just pick the lowest rated team on squad battles. Um, and yeah, the next one, you have to score two goals in two separate squad battle matches or min world-class difficulty or rivals using players with min four-star weak foot. So I think the striker now has four-star weak foot, which is okay, but um, depending on obviously his height and in-game stats, that will vary and change on my opinion on him. But uh, score two goals in two separate squad battle matches on world-class difficulty using a player with only four-star weak foot min um that's actually not bad just because you don't have to score with the saudi pro league player um it can be anyone and lots of strikers attackers whatever have min four star week for at this point in the game so that's actually not bad um it's unfortunate that you do have to play in world class um so yeah this basically cancelled this one out and you have to play in world class on all the games just to get this one done uh the third one is assist with a cross in three separate squad battle matches on a min professional difficulty or rivals with at least five Saudi Pro League players in your starting squad. So as long as you have five Saudi Pro League players in your squad um, and obviously um, you go into a squad battles game, you can sub them off straight away. But you have to start with five Saudi Pro League players in your squad to obviously get this done. And when you have the five Saudi um, Pro League players in your squad, you have to assist with a cross in three separate squad battle matches. Then once that is done, um, the assists in three separate matches, um, then you can take the Saudi Arabian players out or the Saudi Pro League players or whatever out. And you can put a, a, a team that obviously includes a Saudi Pro League player, just at least one because you have to score in three separate matches. Um, so this one, assist with a cross. Um, a cross on Xbox is actually pressing X. You can press RB and X as well. That counts as a cross, but just to make sure that you are getting it done, just press X. That's all you have to do. Um, and for PlayStation, I think it's box and uh, R1 as well for the like low cross or whatever. But just to cross it up in the air, so you're guaranteed to get the cross done. Um, and yeah, just a it's just a cross uh, with any player, but you have to have five. Saudi Pro League players in your squad, so that's not bad. So the last one then is just to score an assist in six squad battles wins 
on main professional difficulty or rivals using Dutch players. So um, Dutch strikers that are fast are going to go up in price a bit. Um, but obviously, if you did have like, I think it was Huntelaar, um, the foot birthday one, I'm pretty sure not much of you guys have got him at the moment. You probably just put him into an SBC. But if you do have some like fast, like Depay or something like that, uh, some players that will score and assist, mainly attackers, um, just get like a front three or something um, of, well, Netherlands players. Um, you can even get this um, this striker because obviously he's a Netherlands as well. And he's from the Saudi Pro League. So this will really help with that. But yeah, it's not a bad card. Um, it's not actually that hard uh, compared to the Bamford card. You only have to play a minimum of six squad battles games. Obviously, you have to win all of them in order to get him. Um, so that's actually not bad. Six games to play on squad battles on world class isn't that bad to be honest um i will show you now his in-game stats okay so here we have his card on the screen and as i told you before i did have a slight concern on the card just because when ea released like the minor leagues it's just the, the players that they put out isn't the best um as you can see here six foot three for a striker um it's really bad medium low which is honestly it's so bad uh three star skill moves Again, it's not the best, but uh, four star weak foot is actually quite good. But depending on his in game stats right now, uh, his pace split isn't that bad. If you put a hunter on him, he'll get to like 88, 87, um, 98, 97, something like that. Um, he's shooting, you don't really need to um, upgrade his shooting just because it's already good, so that's fine. Passing, not really relevant to be honest. He's dribbling like agility and balance is a good split, but he is six foot three, so you might have to upgrade it. Maybe an engine on him. Um, his physicals are honestly unbelievable. Heading accuracy is good. I I reckon he's going to be an, a decent player, but it's oh, it's just, I don't know. He's, he might not um, be good off the ball in making runs and stuff uh, just because he has medium attacking work rate, which, it, trust me, it has a massive effect on players, um, especially when he's 6'3". He's probably not going to be, um, well, as agile, even though he has like 82 uh, balance and agility, He's not going to feel like the smoothest of players. So just bear that in mind when you are um, using him. Uh, but I think this is just going to be for fodder realistically. I'm probably going to complete him because it doesn't take that long just to complete this card. And yeah, I will uh, probably just put him into an SBC. Maybe a guaranteed pack. We'll see. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And comment down below if you're going to do this player objective. And I will see you guys in the next video.